Hi, my name is Richard Parnell, President of GRSA International and GRSA Grandmaster Stringer. Let's have a look at this four-in-one machine and let's see how we can customize or take the specs of a tennis racket. So here we have a 27 inch racket, 68.5 centimeters. First thing we need to do is measure its static weight and static balance. Let's place it here against the end so that we have the weight here and here. Now this is giving us to 0.1 271.9 grams and 328.4 millimeters uh, balance. Now, the reason why this part has moved away from the, the grip is so that it doesn't affect in any way the weight or the balance. So it is as exact as it gets. So now that we've actually looked at the total weight, the total static weight, total static balance, we can now look at the dynamic part, which is the dynamic mass um, positioning. So let's look at inertia. This we close down, make sure that it's straight, and then Here we have 263.8. Now you can actually see if you know the three in one machine from, from head, up until now swing weight has been measured in 0.5, which was already good. Now we're going to 0.1. So this swing weight is 263.8. You can't get any more exact than that. So we have that. Now let's have a look at the new, what is twist weight, which is the resistance to torsion. So we place the racket in. Again, as I mentioned, this is a patented um, clamp, which gives us the twist weight, which is 14.4. Anything between 10 and 15 is normal. The higher it is, normally it would be um, more stable. So here we've actually taken all the specs of this, of this racket and we've worked out, well, we know what weight it is, we know what or static weight, we know what static balance it is. Anything we want to do with it, we can now change and we can personalize it to the player and how they need or if they want more power, we can increase um, the swing weight. Um, if they want a slightly more stable head, then we can we can work with twist weight, which is the new, which changes it from the three in one to the four in one, we have the twist weight. So now let's do a little experiment. Let's see what the difference is if we add one gram of lead. And instead of actually working with lead and sticking lead on different parts, what I tend to like to do is actually use blue tack, which is, I have a big ball of blue tack, which I just take off grams and then I can place them in different parts. So let's take a one gram and let's have a look and see if we put it just on this side here. So up until now we had a twist weight of 14.4. Let's see the difference that that one gram will actually make. Fourteen point three. Now let's have a look at swing weight. Let's actually on the swing weight. Let's move it up to the tip, which normally the swing weight is increased by three points by using one gram. Now the one gram, if you put it here, it's about one point. Here it'll be about two points. Here it's it'll be three points. So before we had two hundred and sixty three point eight. And now we have 267.2. So you can see that just with that little bit of um, difference, we've already altered how the racket will play because depending on how you hit the ball, then the more, the higher swing weight will normally give you more power. So as a little example, you can see this is just one gram of blue tack, which I would then replace with either 
um, half inch lead tape or quarter inch lead tape and then we would either add that in different parts of the of the frame to actually make it feel and play how the the player wants so that's basically how we would look at making personalizing a racket for a specific player